Hello everybody and welcome back to some more streaking of Isaac. I realize, as I said, I'm doing a lot of the streak recently, but when I'm backlogging episodes, this is definitely the one that I prefer to backlog, so you're getting a lot of streaks. It's cool. It's easy. Either way, we're jumping in with the Isaacle today. Um, yeah, yesterday's was pretty abysmal. I did a really bad job. Uh, so let's see what we want to start with this time. I have also found something out that's interesting. Basically, before I had everything sorted by quality, now I have it sorted by ID because apparently... ID 1 through to Lump of Coal is all um, Rebirth, and Lump of Coal through to Box, wherever Box is, is Wrath of the Lamb. So, all of these are Wrath of the Lamb, and all of these are Base uh, slash Isaac. So that's interesting to know. I didn't know that, and I th I, at least that's what I've been told, I'm hoping that's true. Um, and that will help us out with working out what's Flash and what isn't, which is nice. Either way, starting item-wise, let's go with one of my classic favourites, Cricket's Body. I like Cricket's Body a lot, it's a fun item. Uh, oopsie, I did shift tab rather than, there you go. Let's do Cricket's Body to start, see what we get going on. So, it is, it's an item room in another place, it's not Rebirth. Um, it is ranged, range stat, tier star, tiers. Okay, so let's remove quality 3 to start with. Okay. Um, and then we know it's in the item room plus something else. We know it's red or brown, which I wouldn't really say that's red or brown, to be honest. But there you go. Um, it's always unlocked and it's not rebirth. Okay. Okay. That gives us some options indeed it does. Okay, so... What's in the item room plus something else? Mum's, Mum's knife's in a few of them, isn't it? Um, and then we've got brown on Mum's knife with the handle. It is quality 4 and it's um, from Flash, I believe. So let's do Mum's knife. Let's do Mum's knife as our next up. I'm hoping this counts as brown, but it might not. Okay, that's actually good because now we know it's red and something else. Unfortunately, it's a character unlock. I didn't realise that, but that's fine. Um... So we can get rid of quality 4 as well now, that's good. And we know it's not Flash, so it's either Wrath of the Lamb, Afterbirth Plus, Afterbirth, or Repentance. Let's go for Repentance next. Um, and we didn't really get much out of this, but now we know it's Red Plus something, always unlocked. Okay, let's go with something from here. Um, red Plus something, always unlocked in the item room, and another... Uh, another place. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. Candy Heart is, um, oh, that's an unlock. Okay. Can't organise by how they're unlocked, I don't think. That's, that's red and white, I think. So, that's n not an unlock. Um, I don't know, would that count as red and white, or that count as just red? I'm not entirely sure. To be fair, I think, I think it could, the item could just be, could be just red, to be honest, couldn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it could be just red. So, I need to be looking at things that are just red as well. We could go with Rotten Tomato again, that's quality 2. Uh, that is tears. Although, no, is it? It affects your tears, but I don't know if it counts as tears. Um, what else have we got that fits into tears here? Not a whole hell of a lot, to be honest. I think I might go for Rotten Tomato here and see. Okay, so we know it's not quality 2 now. It is for Repentance. Good, good. We can get rid of quality 2. Okay, so I'm thinking it's probably this bad boy here. Um, good old Sneezy Boy. Uh, although that's an unlock, so it can't be that, actually. Okay. Um, what else is tears based within here? I guess Vasculitis could technically be tears based and it is in another room with the Ultra Secret Room. Um, so that's potentially one of them. This is kind of a tricky one, this this one. I like to try and get it by the fourth guess, so... Right, so, can't be too spooky, doesn't affect tears. Can't be blood puppy, doesn't affect tears. Boil baby does fire tears, but it doesn't affect tears, so I'm unsure about boil baby. Um, we've not done a familiar yet either, have we? No. Um, it's not going to be your cart as an active. It's not going to be plum flute as an active. Vasculitis is my next sort of realistic guess, I think. 
Uh, it's not an unlock. It is tiers based. And it's in multiple pools and it is red. I'm going to go for Vasculitis. Hey, there you go. Amazing. Okay, getting it on my fourth guess I'm always happy with. Uh, re realistically, the the defining factor for how long it takes for me is this t this here. If, if, I, if I have to weed out a bunch of qualities first, it takes longer. But either way, there you go. We got a good bit going with that and we can jump into our run and just kick it off and see what we can get done here. Um, as I said, we're jumping for streak again. Um, and wh who do we randomize as? Who was it? Um, let, me, let me go check one second. Good old Tainted Apollyon. Lovely. We're on a 32 streak at the minute. 38 is apparently my highest I've ever had on YouTube. So that's that's my ultimate goal at the moment is 38. And um, we'll see if we can get that done. We'll see how feasible that is. But we do get a nice little nickel off the bat. As for the question of the day today, um, as for the question of the day today, what's a holiday that's celebrated, but m maybe not in your culture that you'd love to celebrate? I think um, the, the the Mexican Day of the Dead holiday, uh, what's it called? Something, I can't, I can't remember how to pronounce it in the, the Mexican saying, but that looks like a really fun holiday, even though it is like, I, I realize it's not meant to be all fun, but it's like, it is a bit. <laughs> and it it, 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 it it looks really sort of like heavily community based. And I don't know, it just seems like everyone gets involved and they make some really, really cool uh, art and things like that. It, it, it seems really, really good. It seems like a an interesting thing to be a part of. I don't know if that's, I, do, I actually don't know in, in terms of the holiday, how, how it's sort of like, pictured is it is it meant to be like a sad holiday is it meant to be a happy holiday i think it's meant to be more be a happy holiday isn't it um we've got 10 cents let's quickly check inside here um a light blue locust with increased speed that inflicts freeze Ooh, that might be useful to uh to abyss but i don't think we're gonna get another charge to be honest deck of cards would be quite nice though i definitely take deck of cards i don't know the shrink rate of um of this fly to be honest but Hopefully it's decent, right. We don't have any bombs yet, but I always like to try and pad out the first floor as much as I can to see if I can find any um, any extra bombs, because finding first floor secret room has been, it's been the keys to the kingdom in a lot of our runs recently. But yeah, you guys, are you guys okay with me doing a lot of streaking at the moment? Um, I've realized that obviously there's the, we have like two other ongoing series that we like to play, um, but like the, the, New save file is fun, but it just doesn't have the same purpose that this that this one does, which I, I just love the sort of purpose-driven reason. And then the modded character one, I just don't want to overdo it with the modded character one. That's 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 basically simple as I don't want it to, to get a bit um overdone. Okay, secret room here is a bit odd, so it's not there. It can't be between the boss and thingy room. It's not here. It's not to our right here. It must be above us here, right? It must be up, like, right here. I think it's the only place it can be. Yeah, there you go. Um, and unfortunately, not a whole hell of a lot g given there. But we can go into our cash room re reasonably safely now, as long as I don't uh, take a boatload of damage. We get ourselves a penny back. And more importantly, we get ourselves a charge, which is, is what we were kind of looking for here. So... Let's go and get the boomerang and suck it up. Why not? Oh, wait. Can we suck up the boomerang? I don't even know how this will work. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. Nice one. And then we can buy a soul heart as well. I wasn't sure if it would work that way. I'm glad it did. But that gives us a bit more damage and the ability to freeze is probably pretty nice. I wonder if it works on bosses is the only thing. Oh, that was a really, really bad hit. But I dropped a luck penny, so I'm actually not too displeased with that hit. This plus our mini Isaacs is just going to wreck him. Yeah, there you go. So we can freeze him. Yeah, getting a luck penny out of that is pretty, pretty goddamn amazing. Awesome. And squeezy is definitely something we'll just take. We can't uh, suck it up anyways. Was it last episode we did Mother? I don't remember. Either way, we're going down normal path this time. I don't quite have the power or health that I had last time. To make that a viable option. I mean, it is viable, but I mean, it's a little more risky. Ooh, that was that was a kind of close one there. And again. Okay, didn't get much out of that, unfortunately. 
no HP up. I mean, even if there was a HP up, it'd be behind bars. So I won't be able to get it anyways. Lovely stuff. Pill, I think I'm okay for for now. Mask of Infamy, 100% a must take. I didn't even read what the uh, what the lurkers would have done. I probably should have done actually, because it could have been pretty good. I mean, that is the thing. There are some there are some really good items that have like just incredible lurkists. That it's like sometimes it might actually be worth going for the lurkers version instead. Um, but this is a defensive item that, that gives us a lot to go on. Also, I, I really like the fact that with these guys we have spectral. Um, it's one thing that this character has that that is really really nice. It's just basically you have built in spectral. Um, be able to shoot things over rocks gives you a huge advantage in certain rooms because you can just stay out the way or completely circumvent a mechanic of the room where there's like enemies hidden behind and you have to unlock them you can just circumvent all of those gimmicks and mechanics i think the um the blue fly is also like got a higher tick speed as well as in like the, the way it travels the speed at which it goes another bomb here uh quickly just take a little peek -a rooney at uh, potential secret room locations, which I'm almost certain is here now. I'll take this pill, why not? Oh, it's not there. Okay. I'm surprised by that. Very much looked like it was there. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where it is other than that. Okay, that's what I was trying to do, trying to freeze him. Trying to line up my flies to do as much damage as possible with them whenever I can. It's not always easy. But trying to freeze with this guy is pretty good because it seems pretty reliable that he does freeze. Seems to happen on a pretty regular basis. Oh, we got a giant pot here. Wasn't expecting that. It also can shrink and freeze at the same time, which is kind of nice. I don't think that either of these explosions will hit, you know. Yeah. Oh, that one did. Okay, okay, okay. Um, If we get another bomb, we can open that up. I think it's only two bombs away. It did give us some keys and stuff as well, which is kind of nice. No extra bomb there. Right, let's let's bomb it another time and see see what we get. Okay, more keys. That gives me the confidence to go for the shop. And unfortunately, we can't buy a, a bomb. I could crack this open and hope for one. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, there you go. And we even got enough to buy the soul heart as well. Lucky me. Uh, we'll uh, bomb this open. And we get sissy. Um, let's go with the let's go with the locust. I think going for the locust right now is just the better way to, to play. We could go with the golden. Um, oh, actually, do you know what? No, we don't. We don't have an abyss, uh, abyss charge. I was thinking maybe we could abyss the golden uh, version of this guy, but we don't even have a charge for it, so we can't afford one. So it doesn't really matter. Let's just get our item and go. Get our item and go. Four tan pill locusts. Unfortunately, not what I'm looking for really here, but I will. I will gobble down these pills. Why not? Addicted. Tears up. Lovely stuff. Okay. Not gonna go devil deal this time round. I think I need at least three red heart containers and a few soul hearts to want to go devil deal. And we're not quite there. Yeah, there you go. Get some charm on. We got we got a good few little tear effects uh, in the roster already, which is nice. Good few little tear effects in the roster. Oh, hello! You just disappeared on us. We've got shrinking, charming, and freezing, all of which can be pretty pretty goddamn useful, I think. Lucky. And then Mongo Baby, Pale Mini Isaac with increased tick rate. I probably will suck that up as well, to be honest. I'm not exactly enthused by Mongo Baby as an item. It's the good thing about this character. It just makes bad item rooms way more interesting. There you go. The increased tick rate does just mean it'll do more damage as well. No status effects uh, associated with it, but... Oh, well. Let's keep it moving. I got a good few episodes to record today because my Venice trip is less than a week away. I'm going on Monday. And it's Thursday today, so not got long to, to backlog. I'm only away for four days, so it's not like I have to prep a ton of videos, but it'd be nice to just get a good amount of them out of the way. I also need to... I, I, I really... Anyone that watches Gungeon on my channel, I really do apologize about Gungeon being kind of gone for a little while. Um, I've just not had the time to record it. Gungeon's a, a kind of a semi-difficult series to record. I wouldn't say it's that difficult, but basically 
the, um... What the fuck? That was a lot of money. Uh, for some reason, the Gungeon series, like, it just, the game takes so long to start up and the runs can be quite long, but it's a, it's a slightly more difficult series to record on the regular. Um, especially when I end up being busy unexpectedly, which I have been this week. Um, I'm gonna try and get some prepped tomorrow, though, so that you guys have some for when I go away to Venice. Because I do feel bad when people really like the Gungeon It series and I'm just like, meh, I'm gonna not upload any. <laughs> If the series hasn't gone anywhere, don't worry. I'm just lazy. I'm busy. And a combination of the two. Okay. Not bad, not bad. The secret room is almost obviously here. Ooh, hello. The double black lotus. We don't mind if we do. We don't mind if we do. Do I want to take both? Do you know what? I'm just gonna I was gonna I was gonna get rid of one of them, but honestly. It's just great HP to take them both, so I'm gonna take them both. I don't need the extra locusts right now, so I would much rather be very, very safe in my current HP. Oh, mask of infamy just saved me from a hit there. Good, good. good. I very rarely stomp on enemies when I, when I shrink them down because. Honestly, like, so often you stomp on enemies and they, they, they have, like, an on-death effect and just shoot you and hit you anyways, and it's like, oh, well, that was, that was useful for me. Look at that chunky boy. We're all charmed now. Okay. Nothing else to see here. We have seen item room already, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. Keeping our distance from the guys that do a full heart of damage, please. Hello, Bernhardt. I'll take it. Thank you. And boss time it is. Ooh, I love this version of Dark One. I really like this new status effect thing where it shows you the status effect on the health bar. I don't know how when that got added, but I think it's a good addition. I kind of teleported away there. It's good to know what status effects are being applied and what's still active sort of thing. No shrinking of the boss. He is charmed at the minute. And my guy, would you like to die? You are very close to death. Thank you. Staple, I think we'll just take. We could use the HP. Uh, I've accidentally planted a bomb there. My bad. Um, let's quickly go and check our shop out. I kind of left it on this floor for some reason. I don't really know as to why. I can also check out some of these extra rooms that I left behind as well. Ah, ferryman that requires flight. Silly to go in and change the code for that. I forgot to do that last episode. I think it was last episode I was talking about that. I was talking about changing the code recently and I just kind of forgot. Okay. Not too bad. Shoppeth a uh, shoppeth. What do you hold for me? What mysteries do you hold? But yes, I'm I'm obviously very, very excited about um about the Venice trip. Cherry Bomb is kind of interesting, but not really what I need right now. Although, actually, saying that, um, I could go like that. Hey, it's got a unique sprite. That's awesome. Um, yeah, obviously, I'm very excited for the Venice trip. For one, it's just a nice holiday. Haven't been to Venice before. It's going to be really fun. Um, but also, as I've, uh, as I've spoken about recently, I'm planning on proposing to my girlfriend when we go there, um, which is always quite exciting. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. She does know it's not like a big surprise or anything, um, because I think I I think it's just it being a surprise is like fine, but I also think it's 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 something that you should probably communicate or at least it, it depends on your relationship. To be fair, I I feel like in my relationship it's something that's better to communicate. Um, and and so I I told I well I didn't really tell her as such. We kind of both decided. Um, but yeah, I've got a I've got a ring that my grandma gave me that's like handed down. Um, it's, it's really nice and. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, when you guys are watching episodes after the 12th, I will be an engaged man. Which is strange to say, but still. But then again, yeah, I'm gonna say, like, ooh, ooh, fruitcake, baby, okay. At Luggy's Horns, I definitely want to suck up. I just don't care about the item. But fruitcake, I would love to take. Um, But yeah, it, it, it's, it's sort of strange, because, like, It'll be for our 10 year anniversary, and it's like so many people that I know, like, it's, it's fine if this is what you do, 
But so many people get engaged after like two years. And to me, that's just just baffling. I, I, I do get it like when you get older, you've obviously you don't want to sort of wait around as long. And we, we've been together since we were like 17, 16, 17. So I do kind of get that like when you're later in life, you don't want to wait 10 years, obviously. And I, I'd say 10 years is probably a bit longer than average. But people that get engaged and like they're together for like under five years, they're like, yeah, yeah, barely know them. Like the the one that really gets me is, um, and, 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 and by the way, this is no judgment to people that are watching that may have done something similar, because it, it really does depend on your own situation. It's just confusing to me, um, but it does depend on your own situation. But f for me, the one that's, that's really confusing is when people get engaged, but they, ha they haven't lived together yet. It's like, man, living together in a relationship is so, so much different than just being in a relationship. It's, it's, it's very, very different. Very, very different indeed. So you kind of need to be prepared for that and know how how you deal with that beforehand. I'd say it's 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 a it's a pretty big thing. Right, give me the money for fruit cake. That wasn't the money for fruit cake. That was a balls of steel that I didn't need. God damn it, I only need two more pennies, game. I only need two more pennies. There's one. Hey, oh, we got it. Right. My favorite item to ever exist. Get it in my belly. <clears throat> Maybe I should start with fruitcake on the article more often. Seems like a half decent starting item, to be fair. A rainbow locust with a color-changing glow that's a low chance for various effects. Okay, now nah, I'm just going to take the actual fruitcake. I think it's stronger as it is. It's it's also just really fun. One second, I think my phone's going off. I think I'm just hearing things. I think I'm just hearing things. My bad. Right. Continue on. Good old fruitcake. Fruitcake is like, in itself, a pretty huge damage up. So you can kind of alleviate the need for tears ups and um, damage ups with this. Or you can hurt yourself like I just did. Um... Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. I'd say obviously you you'd rather have a quite good tears stat so you can fire more fruitcake tears. Right. Oh, there's a key there. We should probably go grab that. Yeah, there's so many different like really really good tier effects. There's also one thing I, I love about fruitcake that happened to it with repentance. It was already one of my favorite items. Repentance made it even better because repentance added all the effects from tiers that aren't even real tier effects. Like, tier effects that are attached to, um, to, like, specific locusts and, uh, not locusts, sorry, Book of the, Book of Virtues wisps. So tier, tiers that, like, normally you can't actually gain access to through an item. Um, it fires tiers like that as well, and some of them are really strong, like, being able to turn enemies into cards and runes, stuff like that. There's some really, really strong ones out there that can do stuff like that. They're obviously rarer, but you do get them on occasion. Good. Careful of these spiky spikies. Why would you jump over the spikes when I open you? Just why? Right. But I think our killing power right now with all our locusts and stuff is, is pretty good. We are killing stuff pretty quick. I keep getting hit, though. I'm a goober. And we get good old marbles. We'll take marbles, I think, because our trinket isn't amazing. Crystal key is uh, quite nice. And then... A delirious locust will greatly decrease speed and tick rate, greatly increase hitbox and a bunch of extra damage. I think we're going to go for that, you know? That seems fun. I've never used that before. Um, right. Do we have a blood donor machine in here? I'd like to hit myself and try and smelt crystal key so that I can take a triple A battery as well. Because triple A battery is also really good. But I think that crystal key is more fun. Um, and I, I think it has the potential to be better. You can give you access to ultra secret room. It can give you access to extra item rooms, devil deals, angel deals. It's super. It's not super likely, but it can. I lost my burn heart there, that was a bit stupid, but 
whatever. We got a reflected golden penny there, which I don't think I've ever had before. It just acts like a regular golden penny. Got a Perthro rune in there as well. You see what I mean, baby? You see what I mean? And we get me. I think I'm going to re-roll this anyways. Um, glass D6 into Thoth is not very really good. Ah, oh, I feel so cheated. <laughs> I feel so cheated. I just... Rerolled that into essentially three health ups. Ooh, filigree feather. Okay, now we're very much looking for a blood donation machine because getting a smelt from uh, from marbles here would be pretty amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you for that indeed. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely killing it right now. This is a pretty goddamn good run. Even just our locusts are doing great. And then, like, this delirium locust. I love... that. that that's one of the reasons I absolutely love it. Because delirious is an item. Yeah, it's decent, but I don't really enjoy it that much. I don't think it's great. Because it's, it's pretty hard to use other than on boss fights. It's not, it's not very exciting. But a locust that has, like, additional effects and extra damage. That's kind of cool. This room not over? No, it's not. Okay. And yeah, it's good old crystal key giving us the extra red rooms. Never a bad thing. Yum. Too spooky. Um, it inflicts fear. We're gonna go for another locust that inflicts a status effect. I think at the minute that's pretty useful. At the minute, I'm just in a, I'm on a pill hungry. A pill-hungry fiend of a time. Just taking every pill I can find. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're kind of looking for a blood don donor machine if I can find one. I don't, I don't use blood donation machines enough. I feel like they're they're one of the one of the machines in the game that are like they do have some inherent risk around them, but I don't really value them enough. Nice. Another good trinket there as well. Oh, we did smell. We did smell. Nice. Okay. We can go back and pick up. I actually can't remember what trinket it was now. Filigree feather, was it? I think it was filigree feather. Which is obviously a very good trinket for uh, if we get any more angel deals. Yes, it was. Also, to be fair, to be fair to filigree feather, it's very, very good if you manage to... Um, it's very, very good if you manage to get sack rooms working as well. Filigree Feather's just pr it's probably in terms of like actual value you can gain from a trinket, the highest value trinket in the game. Um, just because like over the course of a run, if you land every possible angel deal you can get and then you you play every sack room you can play, which I know isn't super realistic, but you can easily get an extra like 10 plus angel items over the course of a run. Which is, of course, amazing. Um, grants the effects of a random familiar item for the current room. Kind of interesting. Is this is this a, a something wicked item? I'm not sure. I think it, I think it is. It looks something wicked to me, although it might not be. So wait. Ah, oh, okay. So basically. And it is, it is something wicked because it errored. <laughs> Great. Um, basically, it's the old uh, version of... What's it called? Monster Man Wealth. Because before, it used to just give you a familiar for a room. It's basically just that again, right? It's basically just old Monster Man Wealth, which is not a bad idea. It's reintroduced that as its own item. It's not a bad idea at all. I could see it being useful. My mouse is on screen. I apologize. So this annoying thing with Repentagon um, console... Lovely. We'll check this out as well. 
good old car battery seems useful with this uh with this space bar. Yeah, we'll leave that rainbow poop in case we do find a blood donor machine, which I don't think we're going to at this point, but you can pray. We should get two familiars from this now, but I don't think we did. God damn, the new sister is so cool, but <laughs> dies so fast. Whenever I take damage, I can just be like, I'm just trying to smelt my trinket. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a as a locus as well. Right, down we go. Keep it going. We've got plenty of keys here, so we can whack this out. Lovely stuff. Didn't get any keys back, though, which is a shame. It's kind of always what you're hoping for. Yeah, unfortunately, car battery doesn't work with this, uh, with this, which is a bit bizarre. And I would have expected it to. Like, because the thing is, it's, it's one of those items where it's like, it seems kind of interesting, but it begs the question of why is it even an active, um, if it's just going to be something that you use every room. But then it's like, oh, well, it might work with things like car battery and stuff, but now it doesn't, so it might as well just be a passive. At this point. Boss, uh, ooh, that's, that's pretty good. We also smell a filigree feather as well, so we can pick this up. I mean, it can give you some good stuff, but it might as well just give you a random familiar every room, because you're always going to use it every room, right? I don't know. That's all I think, though. Multidimensional baby. I'll take multidimensional baby. I think it can be pretty good. Mask of Infamy helping me out there. Thank you. Oop, there's a tiny boy chilling over there. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm just going to bail on this floor as soon as I find the exit, I think. Let's make sure bees at the end of each room here. It's quite nice because we're unlikely to purchase anymore, and that item only works until your next purchase, so... It's a good item to get. It's a very good item to get. Hanged man? Eh. Let's see if it's super useful. Ooh, wasn't expecting these guys. Oh god damn, they've thrown out so many little children. Calm down. Right, straight for the boss. I do, don't think I need an addicted, do I? I got lost soul this time round. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. How does this work? If I manage to keep lost soul alive here, does it does it give me stuff or I don't know how this would work. And we'll find out in a second. We'll find out in a second. Lost soul? How how do you plead? <laughs> ah, you bastard. I was like, oh, maybe because I got it on the last room, it might actually give me something. Nah. Just useless. Ooh, okay. I need to be a little careful more careful with my HP. This big bastard won't die. Oh, tears up, lovely. I actually kind of needed that. Tears went great. Right. Hope we can just go the right way here. Two wooden chests is not actually that bad of an idea to open. Huge growth is kind of nice. Good. 
see what pills we got. Yuck. We don't know what this is. Lock down. Addicted. Shot speed down. I think we just take the huge growth and go, don't we? Huge growth is uh, just good for later on if we get ourselves in a pickle and need some extra damage. Careful little floating things. Slightly annoying room with these guys, to be honest. Hey, half soul heart is very, very nice. It's been a bit of a tricky one later game, but it's because, like I said, we don't have any, tra we don't have like traditional good damage. We have like pseudo good damage because of our um, familiar army, uh, fly army plus um, fruit cake. But our actual stats are pretty meh. They're not terrible, to be honest. Like they're serviceable. But for where we are in the game right now, I'd, I'd definitely say most runs are going to want a bit more than this. Um, but if, as long as we play it safe, we should be fine. I don't know what this enemy does, and I don't know why it's not dying. That one died very quickly. What I'd love, what I'd absolutely love is have mapping a bit more often so I don't go the wrong way as much. Not, not it? Okay, there we go. Ooh, Dingleberry. I think Dingleberry is going to be better than the uh, always dropping damage up items. Because we've only got one boss item left. Um, so I think Dingleberry overall is going to be better. Just for that sweet, sweet chance at um, the Rainbow Dips and the Holy Dips. Both of them are, are just simply too good to pass up on. Why, why is this guy not dying? Does he have to have his head up to die? Apparently so. Weird. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to be using this active, I'll be honest. Just seems a bit tedious to use it every room. Keep her going. There might be something that I'm missing with it, to be honest. It might be a lot better than I'm than I'm giving it credit for. I think it'd be good if it was one of those ones that automatically recharge. Like, you could use it multiple times a room, but it automatically recharges slowly over the course of the room. Because then on, like, long boss fights, you could get quite a lot out of it. But on regular rooms, you're generally only going to get one use. I think that makes it sort of balanced to how it is now, but have some extra potential utility. And it gives it a good reason to be an active item. Right. Got a soul heart there. And another one. And a moon card. Don't want the moon card there. Right, that's not bad. We're back to full HP. Back to full HP. What's what's left? Oh, hello. Right, can we finally go the right way, please? Wrong way is getting a little bit annoying. But yeah, for, for our Venice trip as well, we've, we've like, for actual anniversary day, we've booked like a five-star Michelin restaurant bar place that seems interesting. We couldn't actually find a menu online, so we don't actually know how good it's going to be. But the, the, like, the website, the pictures of the food and the pictures of the, um, of the cocktails look pretty amazing, so I'm hoping it's good. We'll have to see. It's kind of a risk. And it also probably means if, if there's no like menu with prices, it's probably hella expensive, but I saved myself quite a lot of money on a ring, so I'm open to paying a bit more. Dead Sea Scrolls. We do have Filigree Feather, remember? But we'll be killing this guy. We get little bishop, little bishop's not bad at all. I'll take him. Okay, I'm, I don't want Wailing Leech just because I don't want an extra red heart container. Even though Wailing Leech is a decent HP up, just not into the idea of another, another heart container, really. I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. Come on, please be the right way. Please be the right way. 
You know you want to have taken me the right way here. Oh, God, I love those rifts, baby. Ooh, little red room here. I mean, this was the wrong way as well, so... I'm a little more okay with it now that we got a red room. A little more. Not fully. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm completely fine with it now, because not only has it given us the ultra-secret room, it's given us a shortcut path. God damn you, game. That's not the sort of item I'm looking for from the red room, is it? Obviously not the sort of one I'm looking for. Oh, we got a polyp in here. Didn't see that. That's the black heart. Last little bomb. Again, another thing we don't really want. Spin down, baby. Yes, please. I don't know... Huge growth of the spin down. I think the spin down's more fun. We can at least see what this goes into. Little baggy, are you kidding me? How dare you? Don't offend me with your little baggy, please. Right, go back and suck up magic scab. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Another one on the roster. And yeah, we've got spin down just to just to sort of see. We might not get anything great with it, but I have herp. I have some herp in it. Secret room here, maybe? I had a feeling. Dude, the amount of speed at which we kill things right now. Spin down. Oh, it spins just down just into a different type of bar. I don't think concussive bar is going to do much for us, though. Quickly take these guys out and go and get Midas Touch Locust. Gimme. Give, give this is what I love about the mod as well, Abyss Plus Plus. It's just... It definitely is more like stronger than the default of this character, but it's just so much more enjoyable and so many more items that you wouldn't think to Locust makes so much more sense to Locust. And it's it's cool. It's a, it's a, it's a different trade-off and a different style to play in. And I, I like it a lot. They should just, like, port the mod to, to the full, ge full game. Because it was going to be planned for, to, to be done anyways, and never was. Okay, another tier's up. Very nice. Tears up. Got seed bag there. Don't think we're going to skip the last phase here, but we can try. Oh, no, we did. Nice one. Not common that you get that, but we did. Ooh, angel deal once again. And we've got a very good item that I'll just be taking, thank you. And we've also got Pegatory, which spins down into... I actually don't know what that is that it spins down into. Oh, it spins down into Dogma. <laughs> Interesting. And Dogma actually has its own Locust. A static Locust with slightly increased speed, damage, and a low chance to block shots. Dogma is speed, damage, flight, holy mantle, and heals Isaac. It's it's good stuff. It's it. I think this is my, this might be my first time ever getting Dogma outside of the uh, the fight. It's not not often that you get it. There's only really two ways to get it, which is spin down and um, through spin down. What's the other one? It's through a death certificate. Otherwise, you can't really get it any other way. That was a very bad hit by me there. Yes, so yet again, another red room with a shortcut path. Oh, shortcut to the boss. Incredible. Incredible. Let's try and speedily take this guy out. There you go. This was beautiful. Now we can just chill, destroy this guy. Shouldn't be a hard fight with this dude at all. There's so many status effects going off on the top of it as well. Just trying to get all my little locusts to hit at the same time. The damage stacks up pretty fast. Oh, get a stun in there as well, beautiful. Right, last floor, last six little chests, see what we end up getting. 
beautiful. Um, just give me them all. <laughs> None of those are that good. Right. Now we just got to hope we can get another sh boss shortcut. I doubt we'll be getting a boss shortcut like that last one. That was amazing. Do you know what? Something that would be kind of fun. We, um, back with BD1P, like, probably like two years ago now, we did a, we did a charity stream where, uh, where people could do Twitch effects, could like donate and do Twitch effects to like change how your run went, but we're, we were all playing the same, like it was a bunch of different YouTubers and we're all playing the same seed to see who could do, be, like beat it the fastest. And it would be kind of fun to maybe do that where, um, we all play this, like we use my mod pack and we all play the same seed to see who can beat it the fastest. That could be kind of interesting and do like rewards based on who does the best and stuff. Just depends how many people can run my mod pack. <laughs> I know my mod pack is pretty juicy. I think mod pack is in a, a pretty good place right now. I, there is definitely lag, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. It's certainly more manageable than it, than it was before. Finally got one of our lovely, lovely dips. Makes life a lot easier. I think we're going the right way as well by the looks of it. I'm hoping. Yeah, there you go. What trinket was that back there? Ah, sharp penny. Extra secret room that I don't need, thank you. I don't know, so you get the Mask of Infamy effect when you're uh, inside the radius of one of these... Uh, Holy poops. But, I don't know if it stacks with Mask of Infamy, or if they both count as the same thing and it doesn't give you any extra chance. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I have to stay in his radius as much as I can. Okay, unfortunately he's dead now. Well, there you go. Yet another win on the streak. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.